Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A little Thursday Week in League Rewards Serie A Team of the Season Market Talk video for today with rewards coming out, Foot Champions Rewards. Good luck with your reds, good luck with your elite packs if you have those. This video is gonna go live just before those uh, rewards actually come out. So there could be some moves that you make before rewards because the Thursday flipping process is still alive and well for a lot of cards. And we're gonna look at a lot of things today, including icons which I think a lot of people are starting to buy to link their teams together because of all the TOTS cards that we've had. You get a red, you get a couple untradeable from upgrade packs. You got to link it together somehow. I think icons are starting to be used a bit more in that process. So I want to talk about that uh, in this video today as well. But again, today is rewards and that means supply for team of the seasons from the elite picks means supply for packs. Uh, these cards are going to be packed today and the secondary leagues are going to see some supply today and be in red picks as well so i want to talk about all of that and then again i also want to cover with what's going on before rewards come out you might need to sell some cards from your club due to the guaranteed sbcs that came out today but first i want to talk about these tots cards if you want a tots card for your team the question is are these going to rise today in the past for premier league for la liga and for um, a, a few cards that were inside of the bundesliga we bought cards before the rewards actually came out or even during the guaranteed SBC time frame because that's when you saw the cards go up the most. Is that going to happen this week? Last week, the Bundesliga cards, a lot of them actually dropped on Thursday. If you go back and look at some of the graphs, some of the cards actually dropped on Thursday because there just wasn't enough hype for those cards. I feel like it's going to be the same way this week with the Serie A cards with the exception of a few of them. I feel I feel like a few of them will trickle upwards. The Dybala should should go up a little bit. Lotaro, of course, Ronaldo, Gomez, you know, um, maybe Nangolan. I think Quadrado is a riser tomorrow just because of the fact that he is purely a linking position for a lot of players that you might be using or might be trying out um, in the Serie A. If you're putting together some sort of team, you probably need some sort of link at right back, maybe. Um, so I might expect Quadrado to go up, but I feel like most of these guys will hover around the same price and not really move too much. Maybe dip down during rewards and kind of just stay there. Maybe dip down, recover a small bit, but I wouldn't expect a ton of crazy rises on these cards tomorrow. I know they're all really cheap and part of me wants to say, hey, you can get this smalling card for 140,000 coins. This has to go higher, right? This has to be too cheap. I honestly don't know that it is. I mean, it's been this price Ever since the weekend league ended on Monday, he's been, you know, within 15 to 20K of where he's at right now. Does he go back up to 160 tomorrow after rewards? It's possible that he does. Uh, but I feel like people are mostly set now with center backs um, in their teams. A lot of people are running Militao. A lot of people have gotten other team of the season cards at center back. And, you know, three, four center backs in this league this week, all decently usable, especially the three guys in the starting 11. Um, it's just a lot of center backs have come out and it's just a lot of oversaturation in positions out there. Not to mention if people already have an icon center back from a, an icon pack or from icon swaps that they're already using in their team. But I just don't feel like there's a lot of hype for Serie A. And I've been saying this all week, like the uh, gold rares didn't rise up that high for Serie A. Um, and just, you know, it doesn't seem to be really, really hype this week for these TOTS cards. So I don't expect a massive rise on a lot of them, but if you do want to buy one of them for your team, I do think you would want to get in that card today, um, maybe during the, the weekend league reward period, because especially for a guy like Smalling, if he gets like 20,000 coins cheaper, make 10 to 20K cheaper, that might be 120K for this card. That would kind of ring a bell in my mind, like, yo, that's getting really cheap. So uh, I do think that there's going to be some supply on the market and some dipping prices actually during rewards, the first few hours, um, as the UK wakes up, opens their elite packs and supplies the market with these new TOTS cards, you might see a dip then. And then some of them creep up a little bit, but most of them I think are just going to maybe even go down or stay at the same price. I did flip a few of these today before the guaranteed SBC. I talked about this in my video yesterday. There was a very, very good flipping potential with these TOTS cards after the guaranteed SBC, because that's when people buy some of these cards. Um, this Teo Hernandez was bought earlier in the week at 319. This one was bought at 313, like a nice snipe on stream. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, that was a lazy buyer, but you know, Teo Hernandez right now is 370K. So that was a nice flip today. These Luis Albertos were bought at 335, 340. 
This was bought at 285. That was a lazy buyer. I mentioned specifically Insignia yesterday, though. I bought these three Insignias for 360 to 365. Sold them all right around 390. So that was some nice profit there as well. You know, the cards did rebound today after the guaranteed SBC, the ones that were you know, more uh, meta or rare or usable. A lot of them did kind of bounce back uh, in the lower tier range. Like the Insignia did well, Immobile did well, um, Smalling did okay, Manolas did okay, Luis Alberto did great, um, and Teo Hernandez did fantastic. Teo Hernandez was, a, was the one that I really should have focused on. Um, and I do think this guy will rise tomorrow after rewards for sure, just because of the French left back links. And especially, this might be the best French left back Tots card. Uh, we might not get a better French left back Tots next week during League One. Like this might be the best one. So just something to say about that. Um, that might be the best left back team of the season French nationality card that we get. So that could hold some weight uh, and rise today at rewards. If you see a dip during rewards, that could be an opportunity for sure. But um, there was an opportunity to flip those cards today. I've started cashing out on some of my Serie A special cards because again, do they go up? Yeah, they could go up a little bit more. But I just wanted to have my coins to get into some other flips, which is actually some of these icons that you see here uh, on my transfer list. And I'll be talking about those in a second as well. Right before that, though, I want to go back in time to um, I want to go back in time to Wednesday, uh, the day before you're watching this and actually the day that I'm recording this and talk about these two SBCs and what the, happened on the market because of these, because we also got these two SBCs on Wednesday. These two. Right here, the Syria Guaranteed SBC and the Eredivisie or CSL Tots Guaranteed. Two guaranteed SBCs again on Wednesday as we expected. The 80 through, basically gold rares and especially 81 through 85 rated market flew today. Absolutely flew, especially 83s. There were some 83s and 84s that were basically extinct today at 6, 7, 8 p.m. UK as people went out and did the guaranteed SBCs. On the market so today i mean right before rewards as you're maybe watching this video go through and check your club on some of the 83s this is a massive massive like clean out time if you have got cards in your club that are not league on rares Serie A rares or even if they are Serie A rares that are 82 or 83 rated uh that are really high because of the spc like i think dobinson sanchez was extinct today uh at some point i saw a couple other cards that were like just ridiculous cards that were stupid, stupid expensive on the market just because of the links that they had uh, and the position that they were in. I think outside backs are doing very well. Left wings, right wings, um, good nations, good leagues, of course. Those cards went up a ton today. So they could get some supply rewards. And if you have some in your club, now might be an opportunity before Weekend League Rewards actually comes out to cash out on some of those because these SBCs are going to lose a lot of hype, of course, because most people do these in the first day or two. Some people don't do them until after rewards, um, but I don't think you're going to see um, these. I think the peak prices for a lot of those 82s, 83s has been hit. And if you still have in your club and it's before rewards when you're watching this, maybe you want to cash out on some of those and possibly make some coin off of that. That's just one note I wanted to make for you guys today. 86s are up a tiny bit. The rest of high-rated fodder is still down. Crazy cheap. We need more SBCs for that to rise. We could get a player SBC today. Uh, the last player SBC that we got was... Oh, we got one today. Oh my goodness. How could I forget about this guy? This actually, uh, this Kamada SBC. This card is ridiculous. Four-star, four-star. Uh, a center forward striker from the Bundesliga. Uh, 99 finishing, 94 agility, 87 balance, 97 composure. This card actually looks really, really insane. So I think some people, I'm actually considering crafting this card just to try it out. I'll probably craft it during upgrades today for the premium upgrades that come out for Serie A just to give them a try because this card looks pretty nuts and it's actually causing some price drops on the market. Now, today we also got um, the man of the match cards from the... Bundesliga for their last match league match day, which was on the weekend. Timo Werner scored a hat trick, and as expected, he did get a man of the match. He got an 89 rated man of the match card, which upgraded his headliner. A lot of people had were buying up this headliner because they thought it was going to get upgraded after he got that uh, hat trick performance. It is actually down like 50, 60 thousand coins from where it was at its peak uh, on the weekend from when he got that hat trick. 
because of the upgrade that he got today. I just think that this card, nobody really wants to use Bundesliga as much anymore, or this card in particular. And um, people thought he was going to rise with this upgrade. He didn't. And I think part of that was just due to this uh, the Kamada SBC that came out today as well, because this card is another really pacey, burner-esque striker in the Bundesliga. Harder to link, albeit, but I think there was some hype around this card today. It looks dope. It's like, this is a cool SBC from EA Sports. Thank you, EA Sports, for putting this out. Like, this is cool, right? Now, it's Bundesliga. It doesn't really make any sense that we were right inside of Serie A team this season right now, that we're getting a Bundesliga TOTS card. Uh, but it cost an 86 rated squad with a tots and you know what? I'm probably gonna end up crafting it because that is a cool looking card and that's a Sweet SBC by EA in my opinion, even if it doesn't like apply to a lot of you guys. It still looks cool, right? It still looks pretty cool. So um, That's why I think that Werner card is down. I want to show you guys the complete list actually of the new um, Man of the matches that are out or maybe not the complete list. Does EA have a complete list? Definitely that EA Sports tweeted this out today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure EA tweeted this out, and I think I have a picture of it right here. I do. This is the man of the match cards that were out. This is a bit blurry, unfortunately. Havertz, Werner, Muller, Havlenka, Boyata, Osmar, Drexler. So there are some man of the matches that are out. You know, of course, the Muller, Werner, and Havertz are the nicest ones for sure. But these cards are really not as relevant anymore due to Team of the Seasons being out and Team of the Seasons being super duper cheap. La I do want to talk about the out-of-packs. Um... Serie A cards as well. Since these guys are still kind of chilling around the same price, man. Uh, they're like my Hatabor, right? My Hatabor. This guy was 150,000 coins, almost 160 earlier in the week off of a lot of investing hype. He is now at his still same price of 140,000 coins. How much is my man uh, had Leonard 9 going? I've been looking at these cards. Um, from out of packs Syria investors. A lot of you guys have been investing in these cards. Do they go up today still? I'm just not sure if these cards really go up today. That's why you saw me sell my Mertens and my Douglas Costa. Those could be two cards that maybe go up just because they're not having a team of the season card and they could have some, some good links. But I did cash out on some of those cards today just because I wanted to be ahead of the selling. And I felt like there were in better investments to possibly make um, due to a lot of people still being invested. In those cards now Juan Jesus I sold earlier today at 57,000 coins it looks like he has dropped a little bit since then he's 53k you know maybe there's still some room for a rise in these Serie A out of pack special cards uh, but I think they've kind of you know the out of packs investments may have kind of hit their peak um, and just that stuff is not going to be as investable anymore unless you get in super duper early because so many people are looking at those cards and doing that stuff I still have a Tonali and a gold Cristiano Ronaldo and an Allen to sell. Um, I think that should be it. Yeah, I've got a couple other icons uh, other than those cards and a couple tots as well. So if you have League Un uh, out of pack special cards, this is going to be something where, you know, if they go up again today, if they go up even more from what they currently are on the market, like this guy, Renato Sanchez, right, with his uh, left back, Shapeshifter card, 42,000 coins at the moment. This guy was 28K last week. He's up a lot already. Um, maybe like that striker, Musa Dembele, that I had on my transfer list as well. You might, one thing you might be able to do with these cards is sell after rewards before Friday morning when the TOTS cards come out. These guys might actually drop at 6 p.m. UK on Friday as people sell those investments because they think they're supposed to be rising when the League on TOTS actually come out, right? That's what happened last week with Serie A. Uh, the cards went down on Friday. Some of them rebounded a bit back into Saturday as people actually used them. And then they went down even further through the weekend. So if you have League Unspecial cards and you're unsure about them rising and you're already making profit, I think I would cash out on those. The special cards are being very heavily overinvested in and I'm just not a fan of them. What I am a fan of though is these cards right here, Icons. And let me talk you guys through why I'm a fan of Icons, especially the Out of Packs and especially the midfielders. I'm, you can see that a lot of cards that I'm looking at here, a lot of them are midfielders or defenders uh, because I feel like we're at the point now in Team of the Season where a lot of people have Team of the Season cards from multiple leagues. They're trying to figure out how to link them together. What's the best way to do that? Yo, can I have my Alexandro uh, Moments SBC? I need to somehow link him to my left mid 
uh, Tot's son, right? How am I going to do that? I'm just going to have to throw an icon in the middle. So what I'm starting to see is a lot of people are using icons to link their squads together because these cards are going up every single week, especially the out of packs, baby and middle icons. Now I flipped some of these last week and they were very, very good profit. I've already got a bunch that I bought in this week already on my transfer list, but I'm looking to do more uh, before rewards tonight. So I'm looking through a lot of um, midfielder icons and I specifically say midfield because a lot of people are trying to maybe link attackers with defenders you know maybe they want to try out the new Syria attackers that were in team of the season but during La Liga maybe they packed a Ramos they've got a Carvajal they crafted the Militao SBC and you know they have like the Ter Stegen Militao backline Diego Carlos maybe um, and they got it somehow linked to the new attackers that they want to try out this weekend I think that's where the icons are going to start to come in Last week during Bundesliga, guys like this middle Balak did very, very well. They did, they went up an extra high amount because of the um, German links. I'm looking at a few Italian links this week uh, with Zambrata, but the, the Italian icon situation is just not the best, to be honest. You've got Pirlo, but he is not that hype. Um, Del Piero is okay, but in the midfield, you, I have a Gattuso. I think I bought a Gattuso to try out to flip this week. Um, but all three, honestly, all four of Gattuso's cards, if you look at them, are al almost like exactly the same. No offense to Gattuso, but what EA did with his card, I mean, all of them are basically, they're all right around 100,000 coins, 200k for the most expensive one. And it's just kind of crazy that all of these cards are like legitimately right in the same range. Uh, from the baby to the middle to the prime and even to the prime moments. So, you know, Gattuso is a decent one that you could flip. But just look around. Uh, icons that are like more... Good links, good nations that are usable, that are hype, that people have been using all year long. And you can go do some research on Footbin about which cards are going to rise up the most. Just look at graphs, right? You're going to see a lot of this on the graphs, up and down movements. I can show you a few cards right now off the bat that move every single week. Here's one that I've been looking at on a very, very cheap budget. These icons are so stinking cheap, you don't have to have a lot of coins to flip them, right? Now, these, these fluctuations look minuscule, right, on this graph right here. But if we zoom in, let's zoom in a little bit because uh, actually I want to go with this. Let's go with 02 and we'll go with 20. So uh, from February, this might be too far out, but we'll zoom in a little bit. Th here's better to see. Check this out. Since Team of the Season started, right? This guy was 300,000 coins right before Tots. He's falling all during Team of the Season. Look what happens on Thursdays during Team of the Seasons, right? He goes 164. To the weekend 181 okay go down the next week 145 to 167 down the next week 130 to 160 that's going up 30,000 coin coins per card on a card that costs you 130k so if you're selling at 160k on friday or saturday this works on xbox too look xbox he goes 126 to 150 146 right and that's just an average price on the day. He might have been selling at 160 on Xbox for most or for a couple hours on that day. He might have been selling at 170 on PlayStation uh, for part of that day. So just look through the icon graphs and find some cards that are good linking, that are actually usable and good cards in game that you know a lot of people use. Like this Makalele is another great one. French links, CDM, good card. Look at look at these fluctuations, bro. He goes on PlayStation to 257 to 320. Look at that. Three, two, three, 250 to 320. I can barely talk the profit so big, right? 258 to 314 the next week. Well, what is he today? He's 275. People are starting to catch on to this stuff, and they're starting to invest in some of these cards. This 90 Makalele in particular, last week I bought this guy for 410,000 coins, and he went up to 490k. People got on this already this week. He was 400k flat all week this week. I bought two of them this morning, right around here, uh, in the 400k flat range. And he has rebounded since 6 p.m. Because people have caught on to this stuff and they're realizing, hey, Lee Gun is coming up next. The French links might do exceptionally well. So just factor that into your maybe your last minute or last second icon or last second Thursday flip that you're looking into. I mean, this is honestly works for all budgets, uh, anywhere from, you know, millions of coins. To if, you, if you only have, you know, 200,000 coins to mess around with, you could still flip two icons, right? Because there are, are icons now in this game that are very, 
very cheap. This middle block could be a good one next week with all the, the French links that you're going to need. So as I talked about throughout this week with French links going to be big for this weekend, start to plot some of that stuff out. Maybe look at some other out of packs, French special cards for flips this week as well. But again, that's my thoughts for the market this week. Good luck with your foot champions rewards. I hope a lot of you get Ronaldo. I can't say all of you because that's just not realistic, but I hope a lot of you guys get Red Ronaldo. And if you get something sick, tweet me and I'll be opening my rewards on the Twitch link down below in the description uh, later tonight on stream. That is the plan, at least. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.